I have been quite the pirate for the past couple months. Today I'm doing a thrift haul. I have all the things behind me on this rack. I'm very excited because I have some like blessings from the thrifting gods, I call them. The first trip was basically a mission to get a stainless steel pot. This is specifically for dyeing clothing. If you're dyeing synthetics, then you wanna do it over a stove. At the very end of my thrifting situation, there she was. And it was $9.99. Such a large pot, I just couldn't believe it. I now have a stock pot. So here we have a vest, and I'm not really a big vest wearer. I have one other vest by Columbia, and I saw this one. It's by Calvin Klein. It's navy blue, which blue really isn't my color, but I put it on, it fits perfectly. The whole thing is stretchy, but it's fitted. And this actually goes along with my soft gamine lines. If you don't know, I'm really into the Kibbe system. Well, not like really into it, but I really appreciate the recommendations from that styling system. So there are little details, little ruffles, um, a collar, high neck, and just like color blocking going on. It is quite long, but again, this is supposed to be like a cozy situation. I do have to take off some little tabs off the zippers because they're dingy and possibly just chop these things off. Moving on, I went to DC and this was my first time going to a Goodwill in a bigger city. Found so much treasure and everything was organized by size. I was shocked. It was great. There were actually things in my size, which is very rare because I'm very small, I'm very petite. So here's a short coat. This is by Ann Taylor Loft Petites. Oh my god. I'm diving into getting petite clothes because I'm just over things being large on me. This again follows the soft gummy lines because it has a rounded collar and also the color palette is kind of my thing. I love green but this is definitely the brighter screen that I've ever gone for and the sleeves are cropped which I wish they weren't. I do need to take the sleeves in a little bit and shave her down because I washed it probably not the correct way and the buttons are adorable. Next is this zip up sweatshirt. Don't really know what to call it. It's not a light jacket because it feels like a sweatshirt material. Size small, 97% cotton. I always go for like mostly cotton, mostly natural fibers. So this one is also following the recommendations, but it is too big for me. So I have to alter it. I do want to take up the shoulder because that's basically where something will look big on you or oversized. What really drew me to this piece is the waist emphasis with the cinching ability, love that. And the fact that there are little white, you know, details on it, little stitching details, round details, and very convenient pockets. So comfortable, large hood that fits my hair. So yeah, feel quite Jedi-ish in this, I should say. I completely forgot, thank goodness I remember because what I'm wearing right now is actually also thrifted. And this is from Old Navy, but to size medium. I instantly saw it and I had to have it because embroidery, so much color, but not too much color, you know? This would go with so many colors because there are so many colors on it. I thought about making it smaller if I wanted to wear it out, I really don't know. You might have gotten a little preview of the piece I'm holding, but this is a Harry Potter long sleeve, the advanced potion making book, but it is blue. Like I said before, I don't really like blue, so I'm going to dye it purple like it should be, and then I will be happy. I have one other long sleeve that is for men's, and it's a PlayStation one, and I do wanna crop it, but unfortunately this one I'm having some trouble because it's a full, you know, logo, and I don't know what to do, but I like to wear them at home. The next piece is on the opposite end of the spectrum. It's more of like an adult situation, which I've had trouble looking for out and about. It's a long cardigan. Now this cardigan does have those little hoops, hoops, little loops braided and it did not come with this. This is mine. This is from an old dress that I had that I basically just keep out as a belt. So yeah, I have to figure out what I really wanna do with this because this tassel thing is not really the vibe for this. This is from Banana Republic. It's a size small, so one size too big but she feels good. She feels really amazing. Let me read you the, um, yeah, this. 60% cotton, 20% nylon, 20% rayon. So it's mostly cotton. I think like that contributes to its softness, like the blend. 
and it just has really fun details on it like on the elbows and it's one of those cardigans that doesn't have a seam directly here which it's a bit strange i'm not gonna lie i definitely stepped away from cardigans when i fell into the kibbe system because broken lines are a good recommendation for that because like you're short and color blocking like all that stuff staccato is the phrase i can still wear cardigans and that even sounds weird saying it like no i am getting back into wearing cardigans as long as i'm wearing different colors underneath like that is you know what looks best i don't look like a blob and that is how i used to wear cardigans i was just very blobbish very oversized and i had to just take it down a notch so yeah i'm very excited a lovely closet staple this is what i think it is because it can also be a jacket the last wearable is a pair of mittens and um a bit strange to thrift mittens, uh, maybe, possibly, have you thrifted mittens? Just because there are hands going in them, I don't know. I felt weird sharing this, to be honest, because of that reason, but they really look hardly used, and I wash them with this on the outside, but I'm going to wash them inside out and um, use scented soap, because I don't know why I didn't use scented soap. I got these for, obviously, the winter, shoveling, and all that stuff. Gloves are just not cutting it. It does not matter how expensive gloves are. They will still not work because I have the North Face gloves. They do nothing for my hands. So at least with these, I can put in a heating pad thingy and I will be good to go for the winter. This next piece is a bag and I specifically went there for shopping bags, like for groceries or I don't know what else, obviously for shopping. So I found this one and it's from Kirkland and it was brand new. There was like tags and of course it has a C for Crowley, my last name, and it's orange, which isn't my favorite, but who knows? I might like dye it or something, but it is a very nice bag and it's sturdy and it has like a natural kind of feel. And I know it's not the most stylish, but I like that it's functional. I like that the straps are rope, very comfy, and I'm just really excited. I don't really get things that are like monogrammed, but here we are. With a seat bag. Now we're moving on to the very fun section, which is home decor or like just home things. So here we have, well, well, I actually shared one before, but it's fine. This was from DC. So I found a bath, bath tray, I don't know. And it was $5, a bamboo one. It's like so easy to clean. The only thing that's really wrong with it is like, I think, rust or water damage on the metal thing so yeah i will be there with maybe a glass of wine if i ever get regular wine glasses it's just so much better when you find things like you know treasure hunting than when you just get it for new sometimes now we're getting into some art which is not my strong suit when it comes to thrift shopping i'm very specific and i do take risks sometimes i feel like last year I did pretty good with getting certain kinds of art, but now I'm trying to look for like original pieces. Um, so yeah, I found something that is just amazing. So I got this watercolor piece and I'm just holding it up for reference. Like as you can see, that's how big it is. And it came with two pictures, had no idea. This is not the one that was um, shown to me. This is the other one that was behind it. I showed my husband some attacks and I was like, yes, right? Like I have to come home with this. It was $15. And I also love the frame because it has like an old kind of look to it. It's not necessarily gold, which can be too much, but it has some, I don't want to say engraving, but some detail. And yeah, it just works so well with this photo or these photos. And I want to separate them because they're just amazing. It's basically ancient structures. I really don't know where to go with this because we're into stuff that isn't really mainstream and yeah, we love watching ancient civilization things and that's all I'm gonna say. We love that. <laughs> so yeah, if you know what I'm talking about, then that's cool. So yeah, I felt like it was meant to be when I saw this piece. Very exciting things are in my home now. Moving on from the excitement that that was, here's another thing that I wasn't sure you know, about. I just had to bring her home. It's a carpet square. It's a sample and it was $4 and I love the colors. And I just one day, well, actually the day I got home, 
I was just looking at it on the floor and I decided to just hang it on my wall just like that. And it actually wasn't a symmetrical way, it was like sideways. This I had no clue that I was capable of, just finding a carpet square and presenting it as artwork. <laughs> like, it's so good. And I like the colors a lot. It's very warm and cozy and pleasing to look at. And it's made out of wool, so it's natural material. It brings some positive energy into the home. I found this shelf, it's from Ikea. It's a glass shelf, it's the Grunt, Grunt doll. It's $4. Not really sure where this is going, but it's a glass shelf, so we'll figure it out eventually. Now we're moving into textiles, which is basically what I live for. No, I'm kidding. I live for everything at the thrift store, but I go there specifically look for curtains. I found the curtains, white curtains. They might be from Pottery Barn. I really don't know the brand. When I look it up, it says Pottery Barn for some, you know, Places. Back tab curtains are my favorite because they do like scrunch up really nicely and they're not noisy. These ones are textured, they're cotton, maybe a blend, I forget, but they're perfect. Perfect condition and they were $10 for these large curtains, which I know costed at least 40 bucks. So yeah, that was such a moment. Next piece is this, I don't know, I don't know what it is. It could be a runner, but I don't think so. I think it's a shawl to be honest, so I should have included this in the clothing section because it has a middle seam, but it's beautiful. I love the colors. It's cool and warm at the same time with the red and it's made in Russia and it's made out of cotton and linen. I just love the design. It's very intricate. And the last piece is this. This is a pillowcase, a handmade pillowcase. I can just tell from the stitching. The pattern on this is so cute, like it's very cottagey. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this. If I'm gonna alter it, do whatever. I'm just obsessed. That concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video, found it relaxing, entertaining, or whatever. I do want to share more home crafting, like home life. I definitely was more into beauty before, but as you could probably tell, I've changed, everyone changes, and I'm just trying to navigate balancing, you know, all my other interests while incorporating it into YouTube because this has always been such a fun outlet for me to, you know, express myself, talk about things that I'm loving, just like geek out. So I hope you're well, and thank you for your support if you are, you know, coming back, and if you are new and you want to see more of me in the future, of course, you are welcome to subscribe. So thank you, thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I hope we're having a good spring and I'll see you guys in the next video.